What's up, guys? Leopold the Brief here, and it's time for another question and answer video. Yay! I have many, many questions today. That's why I'm talking so fast, so be sure to leave your questions down in the comment section below. Remember, limit three questions per person. All right, now let's get into the questions. Woo! Pro234 asks, what do I think of Jack Paul? I have no idea who that is. Who is my least favorite Naruto character? It's Sakura, like everyone else. <laughs> everyone hates Sakura, and she deserves it. Question number three, Vice City or San Andreas? Um, I actually can't choose because I haven't played either of those GTA games. Uh, yes, I'm a GTA newbie. I started with five. Yeah, so there's your answer. Five. Kahei Wong asks, will I ever go back to Spectre vs. Kakashi? And if not, who wins and why? Um, no, I don't think I'll be going back to it. Mainly because I, um, got a different matchup involving Spectre in mind. So that's gonna be cool. Um, but the winner of the last one was Kakashi. Because, um, yes, Spectre has lots of cool illusions and stuff, but so does Kakashi, and Kakashi deals with that all the time, plus he's faster and stronger. Um, mainly the only edge Spectre had is not having a chakra limit, while Kakashi does, but that's not enough to overpower Kakashi, obviously, so Kakashi won that one. Um, Spectre's still a cool character, and I'm gonna use him later on. I may use Kakashi later on, too, but, yep, Kakashi won. Not gonna... Uh, bother with that matchup again since I lost everything, but there's your winner and yada yada next question question number two Do I think Sonic beats Mario because he's going to face infinite in forces? Oh boy I have dreaded this from the Sonic fanboys since day one of infinite's reveal It's like his name is infinite. Therefore he has infinite strength infinite power Sonic beats infinite Sonic is a uh, uh, Sonic is um um infinite power Sonic beats Superman confirmed. <laughs> oh boy Oh, what a train wreck that's going to be once Sonic forces comes out <sighs> As you can tell the answer is still no he does not beat Mario and question number three Why did I make my hair white? I did not make it white. I was born this way because I'm albino <laughs> Cool Cubes asks, if I could have Panty from Panty and Stocking fight anyone, who would it be and why? Oh ho ho, I can't spoil that. I, I mean, I I'm not having Panty fight, I didn't just confirm something. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Question number two, do I prefer Crash Bandicoot over Spyro? Um, yes I do, but that's mainly because I've only played the first Spyro game. I'm sure the second and third games are really good too and they might... I might like them more than Crash, but I just haven't really gotten a chance to try them. Only the first one. The most I've seen of the second and third game is like gameplay videos and cutscenes and stuff for when I had to do research for Rayman vs. Spyro. But really the only Spyro game I've truly played is the first one. The rest has just been research from videos. And question number three. If I had a crippling weakness that was very obvious, what would I want it to be or what is it? Um, my albinism, because you guys have no idea how bad my vision is. Um, I actually can't read, like, those menus that hang over the counters at fast food restaurants. That's how bad my vision is. I can't even read those. Patrick Gowen asks, what's my most disappointed universes? I guess disappointing to the viewers or disappointing to me? Um, either way, Knuckles vs. Ryu. Gee, my viewers seemed really disappointed that Ryu completely obliterated Knuckles, am I right? <laughs> Man, they were so upset that Ryu beats Knuckles. Good, good grief. Yes, I'm trying to stir up salt on purpose. Fight me. And question number two. Worst death battle. Bowser versus Ganon. Just because of how bad they fell for the No Limits fallacy. Like, just really bad. Um, and question number three. My favorite death battle finisher. Definitely Wolverine versus Raiden. <clears throat> Raiden, Raiden, whatever. Um, where he cuts up his head and then kicks it into pieces. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah, I, I know Metal Gear and I love it to death, yet I still get Raiden and Raiden mixed up. <sighs> Thanks, Mortal Kombat. Roko Vuka asks, do I like AMVs? Um, yes, actually, that's what the intro to Universes is based on. The, sy the synced up with the music, flashy visuals, all that. It's based on AMVs that are actually edited well, and not like some Nightcore garbage with the color cycle effect in Windows Movie Maker. Actual effects and syncing to the music and it's actually fun to watch. Um, question number two. Uh, Donkey Kong vs. Juggernaut. I don't know much about Juggernaut, so I can't really answer that, but I'll make a guess. Donkey Kong? Again, just a guess. I could be totally wrong. And question number three. Will I ever use more Team Fortress 2 characters in universes? Oh yeah, I have a couple matchups. They'll come eventually. 
one involving Pyro and another involving Soldier, but I won't say what they are exactly. Um, but yes, more TF2 characters are coming, I can confirm that. Ralph Cardi asks, what do I think of the Mario and Luigi series? Oh, I love it! It's colorful, it's kooky, it's fun, it's um, actually interesting for an RPG. Typically, I'm not into RPGs because of how they play. You know, just read a lot, press A, read a lot, press A. But um, the Mario and Luigi series has a lot of charm to it. There's button commands that you press at certain times to deal more damage. There's actual fun gameplay mechanics to it. Um, Sonic Chronicles did try that, but it was all finicky and glitchy and... You know, typical Sonic failure. <laughs> he just cannot handle other genres. Luckily, Mario's got that fun, interesting RPG mechanic covered, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Question number two. Who is my favorite Invader Zim character? I like Dib because of how um, paranoid and dorky he is with the uh, paranormal stuff. It's fun to watch. I, I know I'm like the only Zim fan who actually likes Dib, but I don't care. Dib is hilarious. And question number three. Will Dib ever be in universes? Um, I'm not sure. I'd actually have to find an opponent for Dib. There's not that many opponents for Zim characters that have, like, low power but incredibly high speeds like that. Like, um, room level and then massively faster than light. There's not many characters like that out there, so it's hard to come up with a matchup. But Dib is, like, pretty much right on par with Zim because he survived the city explosion too. In fact, Dib was even closer to the center of it than Zim was. And Dib piloted planets around the solar system with Zim, so he's the same speed. So, Dib is pretty much exactly equal to Zim in stats, but Dib does have his own arsenal and no um, organ stealing hacks. So, Dib is an interesting character and he I'd have to f work hard to find an opponent for him. Sentry Neo asks, which Call of Duty game is my favorite? Um, I prefer Black Ops the most, the first one, because it had some pretty cool maps. Um, actually, some of the most iconic ones I can think of and actually remember the name too. <laughs> um, and also, it introduced zomb- well, I think- I can't remember which one introduced zombies, but Black Ops was the first one I actually played zombies on, and it's a really fun minigame. So, yeah, Black Ops. Question number two. Who do I want to see as a guest character in Tekken 7? Definitely Solid Snake. I think he'd fit into that really well. I mean, as much as I like Geese Howard and how excited I am to see him in the game, hopefully they don't limit themselves to only fighting game guest characters. I hope they- um, bring in someone from more than just a fighting game, like Solid Snake. He'd be so cool! He even has his own style, CQC. And it's just design and the story surrounding Metal Gear, it just fits in the Tekken series so well. It's a perfect match. Please, Harada, put in Solid Snake. I don't care if it's Old Snake or Young Snake, it doesn't matter. Just Snake. Question number three. Which verses do I outright refuse to use in universes? Um... Well, there's not a particular verse I refuse to use, but I do um, not want to use any memes or stuff like that. Like the MLG or Illuminati that Cartoon Fight Club used to do sometimes. It's just kind of, it makes no sense and it's annoying. And it just sounds like a lot of filler for views and ad revenue. And it was just kind of lame that he got stuck in this eternal Undertale, Five Nights at Freddy's, MLG, Illuminati n n nutshell that Cartoon Fight Club was stuck in. But luckily, with their new schedule, they'll be doing a lot better, so I'm excited to see it. Zack the Bad Person Tart asks, what is the worst wank or downplay I've ever seen on a character? Um, there was this one guy who stalked my videos who liked Ryu a lot. Like, ever since I did fictional fights, Ryu vs. Jin, he like stalked my videos for over a year, like saying all these crazy things for Ryu. Like, his power of nothingness, he took it as a no-limits fallacy, as if nothing could get past it. Like, he actually thought the power of nothingness could block Superman. And it's like, what? The most we've seen the power of nothingness block is bullets. Yeah, Superman can't get past bullets. <laughs> Question number two. Do I listen to any heavy metal bands? Eh, not really. There are a few songs I like, but I don't know or listen to any particular bands. Question number three. What is my most embarrassing moment? Uh, fictional fights Goku versus Saitama. There you go. Roy Master X12 asks, would I ever use a Fire Emblem character in universes? Um, yes, actually, I do have one coming up. Um, I won't say who it is, but I will say that he fights for his friends. <coughs> um, question number two: Who do I think would be a good opponent for Izuku Midoriya? For those who don't know, he's from My Hero Academia. Um, his, his nickname in there is Deku, so you've probably heard it a few times if you just came through the series. Um, 
But yes, I am still skimming through the series, inching slowly, watching it. I'm on the second season now, a few uh, episode or two into the second season. Um, but yeah, I'm slowly making my way through it, so I'll find an opponent for him, maybe. But for now, he just seems a bit too limited with his arms breaking every time he uses one for all, so I don't know yet. Question number three. Hi. Hello! Penguin of Frozen War asks, Not a suggestion, but I should make a Tumblr account to replace the Google Plus community. <laughs> no. No. Not in a million years. Um, I already have a Discord server to replace um, the Google Plus community. I'll link it in the description below. We already have 62 people, so it's good. It's, it's doing well. So click the link in the description below, and then you can join my Discord server. It's very active, actually. Um, question number two. Why do I hate Congolese Congolese people? I don't know history. <laughs> it's a joke on some guy named King Leopold or whatever. Um, and question number three. If I did the nasty with a clone of myself, would it be considered gay, self-stimulation, or incest? All three! Pineapple Guy Carmine asks, What quality gets me interested enough in a character to research them? Mmm, that's a good question. Pineapple Guy's got the good stuff. But anyways, a good quality is just... It has to be able to entertain me, because I don't want to spend hours researching a character that bores me to death. Um, an example of a certain character is probably Edward, I think his name is, from Full Metal Alchemist. Um, I don't know much about Full Metal Alchemist at all, I haven't had the chance to check it out. Um, I mean, I have heard a lot of good things about it, but it is one of those starter pack animes that everyone's seen and says is good, even though... It probably isn't. Like Fairy Tale and Death Note. Lots of people say those are good, even though they're really not, because they're starter pack animes and the only animes those people have seen, so they assume it's the best anime can get. So that's why they think it's good. So, Full Metal Alchemist seemed like one of those animes to me, but I can't really say so for certain because I haven't checked it out myself. But for those who aren't stuck in the starter pack anime area with Fairy Tale, Naruto, Death Note, and all that, Tell me how good Full Metal Alchemist actually is, and maybe I'll check it out and use one of them in universes. Question number two, have I heard of the virtual band Death Clock? Uh, nope. Question number three, if I could voice any character for a job, who would it be? Like an existing character or a new character? If it's an existing character, maybe I could voice Aku if Samurai Jack makes yet another revival after Greg Baldwin passes away. Um, hopefully he does it for a long time though, because he was a brilliant Haku. Um, but if it's a new character, um, I'd love to play a new champion in Paladins, because I feel like that'd be a good start. They're in Georgia. I could go see them. I live in Georgia too. Um, High Res Studios, the people behind it. So, yeah, I could, I could be a new Paladins character to get a, a start into my voiceover stuff. Professionally. Maka Albarn asks, can I sing for you? Yes! See you all next time for another Q&A!